Well, let's uh, talk more about this now with a former U.S. State Department official, Jeffrey Stacey, who joins us from Ann Arbor in Michigan. Really good to have you back with us, uh, Jeffrey. Now, Joe Biden, uh, for now, is remaining steadfast in his willingness to contest this election. But we are hearing growing concerns among Democrats, both senior and, uh, grass and those at the grassroots level, calling on Biden to reconsider his candidacy uh, against Donald Trump in November. What's your view in terms of what should happen? Should Biden stay in place and risk perhaps losing uh, to Donald Trump? It's good to be with you. And I would say that having served with President Biden in the Obama administration, that uh, despite these growing calls for him to step aside, I think that you'll see those calls diminish in the coming days as he rolls out some more public experience or appearances, both on the campaign trail and in media interviews. He's getting strong support from all the top officials in the party. And very interestingly, all the top other Democratic potential contenders, such as Governor Whitmer here in the state of Michigan, Governor Newsom, um, Governor Shapiro, and others, even including the Vice President Kamala Harris herself. Yes, and we know all of this stems from the first presidential debate uh, of the campaign in which uh, Biden appeared uh, to be fumbling towards some answers. He appeared to lose his train of thought. We are expecting another debate to take place between now and the election in November. Uh, do you think Biden is determined to prove his critics wrong at this upcoming debate that's expected to take place in September? I suspect so. And I think you'll see him in many public situations, unscripted, um, if you will, having to think off the top of his head. And I think you'll see him perform fairly well. He was incredibly vigorous at the State of the Union, where off, right off the cuff, he took on uh, several folks from the opposite party, like Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene, and bested them. And I think you'll see that vigor again. In fact, the very next day, he was at a campaign event, he was vigorous, he was strong, and he had quite pointed words after the Supreme Court decision. And that's important because what the Supreme Court just did in terms of their damage to American democracy has given basically a cudgel to the Democratic Party and President Biden for the election. You'll see this issue, saving democracy now, front and center with the abortion issue, among others, that have carried every single special election in recent years. The Democrats have won every single one. And the dip in the polls for President Biden was actually fairly minimal. And so with four months left, there's plenty of time to take care of things. And I think you'll see a vigorous president running to the end and taking on a challenger who has many problems and more that will become apparent before this time. A few would question uh, Joe Biden's uh, substance on the issues. He, he holds uh, uh, quite an extensive uh, record in public office versus his opponent, Donald Trump. But what has brought this to a head is his public performance in this debate. So some would say style over substance. Do you think that Joe Biden's credentials can win out in this election, even though uh, his public performance in, say, debates and public appearances might be lacking when compared to Trump? I think so. And I mean, it was a washout of a debate. Uh, for all of us in the Democratic Party, we were very disappointed that evening. It was not what we expected. We expected something similar to the State of the Union. But this is a man who has led the free world um, against Putin and his horrific war in Ukraine, bu building the alliance, NATO and the EU, along with Asian allies, stronger than it's ever been. And we've seen an extraordinary domestic record of achievement, including with a House that was in Republican hands. He's gotten landmark legislation through that will make him, in historical terms, even more important than President Johnson in terms of his 
Great Society legislation back in the 1960s. So I suspect you're going to see a President Biden pull through, especially as Donald Trump will, we expect, falter a number of more times before the election. Okay, uh, Jeffrey, Stacey, we will have to leave it there. But uh, thanks as always for sharing your thoughts with us. Appreciate it.